हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक बैकग्राउंड जॉब्स एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड यस व्हेन एवर वी वांट टू गो फॉर बैकग्राउंड जॉब थ्रू कोडिंग वी विल मेक यूज ऑफ दीस थ्री फंक्शन मॉड्यूल्स जॉब अंडरस्कोर ओपन जॉब अंडरस्कोर सबमिट और वी कैन गो फॉर अ बैप स्टेटमेंट सबमिट आल्सो and the third function module is job underscore close now we will go for the practical part for the same we already have this program in this program we are fetching data from header table item table we are combining and displaying the output but i will do i will create a new program in that program i will take only three things what is first thing one select option for order number and two radio buttons one radio button for foreground one radio button for background then if user is giving the order number 1 to suppose if user is giving any input for the order number and choosing the radio button foreground we will call this program in the foreground mode if user is giving the input of the order number and choosing the radio button background then we will simply simply call this program in the background so it will be a additional learning in the topic also how you can call one program from another program also so this will be a additional learning when we will do the practical for the same so what i will do i will firstly create a new program i will go to sc38 transaction code i will give some name to the program suppose i am saying zprg order details suppose i will give fg foreground bg background we will display the order details in foreground also in background i will go for create i will give the title to the program to display the order details and in the bracket i will write foreground slash background i will choose the type as executable program and i will save it as a local object i will take multiple inputs of order number so i will take a select options so you all know what is the keyword for the select option select options i will give some name to the select option suppose i will give s underscore o r d intentionally i am giving a different name of select option in this program and in this program we have s underscore o n o so that whenever we will write the code you will clearly understand which program i am referring so i am just giving a different name four i am writing lv underscore o n o. I will go for a variable. I will declare a variable. lv underscore o n o type. I will go for data element of order number. From here, in in from this program itself, I will copy. You can copy from table also. this is the data element for order number i will activate up to this level now we will go for two radio buttons you all know whenever you want to go for radio buttons 
you can create through parameters and yes those radio buttons will be assigned to one radio button group if you do not know how to create radio buttons and if you want more explanation in the abac programming playlist i explained yes there are the videos of parameters so you can learn from there also so i will go for first parameter suppose my name of the first parameter is p underscore r1 i will write type c radio button group suppose r1 you all know radio button length is always one we will select the radio button or deselect yes so we gave sc if we are not specifying any length it means by default it will take the length but i will do control d to duplicate the line suppose it is p underscore r2 so these two radio buttons belongs to one radio button group only and you all know yes if we want to go for radio buttons yes they should should assign to one radio button group i'll check the syntax and activate i will provide the selection text go to text elements selection text now suppose first radio button i will give foreground now for the second radio button i will give background now for this i will simply choose ddic reference so that it can take the description from the data element itself this order number is coming from data element so our simply input is ready now suppose foreground radio button is ticked you all know whenever a radio button is ticked the value will be capital x capital x means true so i will go for two conditions if first radio button is equal to capital x it means if foreground radio button is ticked we will write the logic for foreground if background radio button is ticked we will write the logic for the background now first radio button capital x second radio button capital x and you all know whenever we have radio button at a time only one radio button will be capital x now firstly i will write the logic for the foreground now in this program it's in this program we already have the logic to fetch the data from order header table and order item table and displaying the output so how how we can call this program from this new program how i can call this program from this new program new program so it will be a now new learning for you we will simply simply use the keyword submit if i want to call one program from another program i will use the keyword submit submit now after submit you can pass the name of the program which program you want to call this is the program name now now you are calling this program now whatever the order number you are passing to this new program this new order number should passed to this particular old program now what is our requirement in this case what we want to do whatever the order number you are passing to the new program 
it should should pass to this particular program how how we will pass we will simply use the keyword with so with the help of with you can pass the parameters or select option whatever you want to pass to the another program suppose submit program name with now in this program check what is the name of your select option the name of your select option is s underscore o n o s underscore o n o now i will write in you all know whenever you have select option you need to use in and what is the select option name in this current program s underscore o r t that's why i have chosen the different name so that you can understand fully just understand how it will work you all know input is always always on the right hand side suppose i am running this program i gave order number 1 2 5 so order number 1 to 5 is on the right hand side yes we have select option so we have used in order number 1 to 5 will go to s underscore o n o of this particular program order number 1 to 5 will go to s underscore o n o of this particular program so whenever control will go to this program what is s underscore o n o it is 1 to 5 s underscore o n o is on the right hand side so it will simply go to order header table it will fetch the details of order number 1 to 5 and simply simply our program will work in the fashion whatever it is working so this is a additional learning for you how you can call one program from another program how you can pass the inputs or inputs means select option or parameters of one program to another program you can simply simply use the keyword with and with the help of that you can pass if you have select option you can pass through in if you have parameters you can pass through equal to yes so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with the practical part and what we did we created one program in that program we took one select option for order number and we took two radio buttons one radio button for foreground another radio button for background if first radio button is capital x we will go for foreground logic if second radio button capital x we will go for background logic we already have a program in that the logic is written so how we can call this program from this program submit program name with why with because the input of this program should pass to this particular program so we passed with after with you need to pass the select option name of this program if you see in this program what is the name of the select option the name of the select option is s underscore o n o so we gave s underscore o n o in s underscore o r t so input will go to s underscore o n o of this particular program and yes you can simply simply this program will execute and we will get the output anyways whenever we will see in the debugging mode you will get the more more clarity in the next video we will write the logic for the background it means we will make use of three function modules of job underscore open job underscore submit job underscore close so that's it in this particular video thank you